In the waning days of World War II, amidst the chaos and despair of the conflict, a small, forgotten prison camp known as Stalag 13 stood hidden in the dense woods of Eastern Europe. It was the final resting place for countless Allied prisoners who had succumbed to the harsh conditions and the cruelty of their German captors. One frigid night, as the snow fell like a shroud over the camp, a group of German soldiers huddled around a flickering fire. Among them was Hauptmann Ernst Becker, a hardened veteran who had seen too much bloodshed. He had been sent to oversee the camp's operations, a task that weighed heavily on his conscience. The wind howled through the trees, and the eerie silence of the forest seemed to amplify the distant cries of anguish from the prisoners. Becker couldn't shake the feeling that the camp was cursed, that the tormented souls of those who had perished there still lingered, seeking revenge. As the night wore on, the soldiers exchanged stories of strange occurrences, whispers in the dark, ghostly apparitions and unexplained shadows that danced on the walls of the barracks. Some claimed to have seen the specters of Allied prisoners, their faces etched with despair and accusing eyes. Becker scoffed at their superstitious tales, dismissing them as the product of weary minds. He was a pragmatic man who had survived the horrors of war by relying on reason and discipline. But that night, as he lay in his bunk, unable to sleep, doubt gnawed at him. Suddenly, a chilling wind swept through the barracks, extinguishing the feeble candle by his bedside. The room plunged into darkness, and Becker's heart raced. He fumbled for his flashlight, but it refused to work. Panic set in as he realized he was not alone. Whispers filled the air, unintelligible and haunting. The temperature plummeted, and Becker's breath formed ghostly clouds in the frigid air. He could sense a presence, an unseen force that seemed to surround him. A ghostly figure materialized before him, clad in tattered Allied uniform, his eyes empty sockets filled with sorrow and anger. Becker's voice caught in his throat as he watched the specter approach. You. Germans. Cruelty. The ghostly figure murmured, its voice a mournful wail. Becker could only stammer, unable to defend himself against the accusations of the tormented soul. He had once been a loyal soldier, but now he was face to face with the consequences of his actions. The ghostly apparition reached out a spectral hand, and Becker felt a bone-chilling grip on his heart. He gasped for breath, overwhelmed by guilt and terror. The specter's accusation echoed in his mind, condemning him for the sins of the past. As the first light of dawn broke through the barracks window, the apparition faded away, leaving Becker trembling and broken. He knew that the horrors of war had come full circle, and the haunting at Stalag 13 was a grim reminder of the price paid by all who had been touched by its darkness.